glad you could join us for another edition of Mariners Top 10. I'm Angie Mentink, and during the next half hour, we're going to relive the top 10 Mariners walk-off wins in club history. So how do we come up with the list? Well, thanks to your votes across the Mariners social media channels, we were able to develop our top 10 for some of Seattle's most memorable baseball moments. A walk-off win, it's electric. And for players and fans alike, walk-off victories are etched in our minds forever. We remember exactly where we were when a walk-off happened. Buckle up, because we are going on a fast and furious ride through over four decades of magical memories. So let's get to the countdown. The top 10 Mariners walk-off wins. Our first walk-off, well, it was the first walk-off in their new ballpark on July 18th, 1999. It was an extra inning game winner, which made it even more special. At number 10, it's in Russ We Trust. It was really uh, electric because uh, we just moved into the new ballpark. 44,000 people were there. They wanted to see what the new house looked like and everything. All of a sudden, the Mariners are coming back, coming from behind, and here comes uh, Russ Davis. The Mariners third baseman. Swing, line drive, base hit, left field, Mayberry to third. Here he comes, he's gonna score! The Mariners are gonna win it eight to seven! Russ Davis up bullet in the left field all the way to the corner. The Mariners come back, from six down, seven one to win an eight to seven. My oh my! Well, Russ Davis really helped Chris in the new ballpark to have the walk-off base hit, the left field to win it, sending everybody home happy. Forty-four thousand fans again. Hey, I love this ballpark. And Russ Davis had a big, big day with the walk-off base hit, the left field. The countdown continues at number nine, where we find ourselves in the Kingdom in late September. 1995. The Mariners trailed the Oakland A's 8-7 after battling back from a 6-3 deficit. In the bottom of the ninth, Tino Martinez took center stage. At number nine, it's refused to lose. It was an exciting game. It was a packed house at the Kingdom. And the lead had changed hands three times over the final two innings of that ball game. Remember, refused to lose signs, you know, at the Kingdom. Tino already had hit a home run, but now he comes up in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here comes the pitch to Tino, swung on and melted deep to right field, and that will be flying away, and the Mariners win it 9-8 in perhaps the most incredible game in their history. Tino was a great guy, he was a fun guy, but when the game started between the white lines, you know, it was all business. He was serious about, you know, winning. So the Mariners were starting to gain ground and Tino really helped light that spark to really, you know, push the ball club uh, through September and, and try to get to October, which they eventually did. But that was a fun night for Tino, the fans, and everybody at the Kingdom. As Mariners top 10 rolls on, we find ourselves at number eight. What happens when two future Hall of Famers go head to head? Well, it usually results in history. At number eight, Ichiro delivers. It was in September of 2009 that the New York Yankees had a one-run lead with Mariano Rivera on the mound with two outs in the ninth. The Mariners had a runner on second and Ichiro Suzuki at the plate. On this Seattle night, Ichiro sent the Sandman to sleep. Swan on and Dalton, deep to right field. The unbelievable has happened. Fly! Everybody knows that Mariano was one of the toughest pitchers ever, you know, the closer. He had 36 consecutive saves, saves going into that particular ball game. I remember seeing Ichiro uh, so concentrating in, in the at-bat with two outs, hit the ball right up in the air and we, we already knew it was out. So I remember it was crazy. I remember him running around the bases and we, we were waiting for him at home play just to you know celebrate and all that it was a very special moment we are just getting started here on mariners top 10 when we come back we will relive more of the greatest walk-off victories in mariners history from the kingdom to t-mobile park stay with us here on mariners top 10.
Welcome back to Mariners Top 10. We are spotlighting the top walk-off victories in club history, and we have made our way to number seven. Now, opening day is always a special day, not only in Major League Baseball, but also throughout the country. In 1986, the Mariners opener had all the normal pageantry. However, this opener ended with a little something extra special. Third baseman Jim Presley tied the game with a two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth. And then, with bases loaded and the game tied in the bottom of the tenth, it was Presley's time to shine again. At number seven is Jim Presley with opening day heroics. And the one two pitch on the way to Jimmy swung on. Ball hit ball deep to left field. Mexico good by baseball. Grand slam. Home run Jimmy Presley. And the Mariners beat the California Angels. Eight to four. Holy stuff, Jimmy Presley. Ties it in the ninth inning and he wins it in the bottom of the tenth inning. Opening day at the Kingdom was always a big crowd. And the crowd at the Kingdom just went crazy. It was so much fun. It was a great way to start off the year with a, an opening night victory in extra innings with a walk-off grand slam. Wow, what a night for Jimmy Presley and the Mariners. At number six, back-to-back -back jacks. Here we have two walk-off home runs by the same player on consecutive nights in 1981. Tom Pashorek hit his ninth-inning home run to give the Mariners two walk-off wins against the New York Yankees. They were two of the most memorable wins in the franchise's young history. There's the line by Rudy Bay and the two-strike delivery on the way. A fastball swung on and tilted and deep to left center. Back on the ball is Muffrey to the warning track. The wall is gone. It's over. Tom Frischoik wins it with a home run. Three to two. My, oh, my. Two one pitch to Frischoik. Fastball swung on and belted to left. Winfield locks up. The Mariners win it again. It will fly away. Oh, my. I don't believe it. I guess in 81, I was considered, every year we had an ancient mariner. <laughs> I was the ancient mariner in 81, so I kind of like had a, had, had, I assumed some sort of leadership role. And that inspired me, because I really loved the guys on the team, the young kids that we had on the team, and I, and I thought they looked up to me, so I wanted to be impressive as possible. You know, when you, you watched him hit, he had the flat bat look and the deep crouch at the plate. And he wasn't really meant to be a home run hitter, per se but he had reinvented himself, and I think prior to those two games that, uh, against the Yankees that year, he hadn't hit a home run yet. So, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a big big weekend for Mariner baseball. So far, we've shown you walk-offs 10 through 6 as voted on by you, the fans. To this point, at number 10, it was Russ Davis's extra inning walk-off single, the first walk-off in the new ballpark's history. At number 9, Tino Martinez simply refused to lose with a walk-off homer in September of 1995. And at number 8, there was Ichiro's walk-off winner off of Mariano Rivera and the New York Yankees. Jim Presley's opening day walk-off grand slam came in at number 7. And at number six, it was Tom Pashorek's legendary home runs on back-to-back -back nights in 1981 to walk off the Yankees in consecutive games. Our top 10 countdown continues at number five. It is the ultimate grand salami. I mean, for every little boy or girl who loves the game of baseball, it's their dream to come up to the plate with the bases loaded down by three runs in the last inning. Well, in 1985, outfielder Phil Bradley stepped into the batter's box in exactly that same situation and etched his name in the Mariners' history book. The pitch to Phil Bradley, the fastball belt to deep in left field. Back is Hatcher. It is Brian Salami time. I don't believe it. Phil Bradley had one of the biggest walk-off hits, a grand slam home run. It was against the Minnesota Twins off of Ron Davis. Ron Davis is now with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, four years earlier, it was Ron Davis as a New York Yankee who gave up the back-to-back -back home runs to Tom Pashork in the Kingdom. It was quite a night for Phil Bradley, quite a night for, for the Mariners, and uh, not a great night for Ron Davis. Coming in at number four on the countdown, it's Sleepless in Seattle. I was out of the game, I was on the bench, I was beginning to get cold. <laughs> It was a long night. The game kept going and going and going. Guys are trying to win the game with one swing of the bat from the 10th inning on, and it hasn't happened. We had a day game the next day. So everybody, it went, I mean, at that point, you didn't care who won the game. You're just trying to get out of here. So I remember going up and uh, battling against Jeff Acero, 
and uh, fighting off some pitches or whatever. And, and I got one and I flipped it into right field. Swung on and a high fly ball in deep to right. Cammy just hitting a laser to right field. Kept going and going and going. A chance to go! And everybody was wishing for that thing to get out of the ballpark. Fly away! It's over! My cabin has done it! And that was like unbelievable because the last people that were left here, they were going crazy. I was going crazy running on the bases. To have that kind of concentration in, in a game like that at, at, at the end of a night, in the wee hours, Cammy had a flair for the dramatic. And I'm telling you, if you're a baseball fan, you may never, ever see or hear another game like this one. Cammy ended that marathon in style, and it helped get the Mariners rolling, and they would go on to win the American League Wild Card in 2000 and advance to the American League Championship Series. Now, coming up next, our final three walk-off wins as Mariners Top 10 keeps on counting down. Welcome back to Mariners Top 10. We are counting down the 10 most exciting Mariners walk-off wins in team history. Now, so far, we've made it through seven magical moments, from Russ Davis's dramatic walk-off in 1999 to Mike Cameron's early morning walk-off. But we still have three more games to walk off. Let's count them down. It is time for walk-off win number three, and it came from the swing of Ken Griffey Jr. At number three, Yankee Killer. You know, you have a guy who, who was going to come in and, and basically challenge you. And you know that he's going to bring his A game and you got to come in there and with yours. That was amazing to me. I think for the biggest thing for all of us at that point um, was when Junior had plates, he had screws in his wrist. I mean, we were thinking, you have to have your hands to hit, first of all. And even though he's the greatest player in the American League, um, and the greatest player I'd ever seen, you're asking a lot of him. because And plus, he missed so much time on that swing and that walk-off home run off of Wetland. Put an exclamation point on one that we were, we're, we're gonna stay in this thing. But two, at that point, I knew that the best player in the game was healthy and was going to be able to do what he had continued to do. Um, and that was huge for us. Next up, walk-off win number two, the Seattle Squeeze. Ricky was on at third base. Game is tied. Carlos Guillen is up there at home plate. And Lou Pinella comes out of the dugout and pretty much yells at Carlos, bunt the ball, bunt the ball to first, bunt the ball to Frank Thomas. So one pitch on the way to Carlos. There's a bunt up the first baseline. The Mariners are on their way to the American League Championship. A beautiful bunt by Carlos Guillen. The Mariners sweep the Chicago White Sox. My, oh my, I don't believe it. The placement of the bunt uh, was very key and he did it with, with ease and with an incredible moment on his hands. Uh, just seeing Ricky coming down that line and saying, I, there's not gonna be a play. I, I think I probably got to the plate before Ricky did, <laughs> just you know, congratulating him. But I don't think anybody expected us to sweep the White Sox, uh, let alone beat them. To me, this whole play uh, was orchestrated in, in, in Lou's mind bef before the inning even started. That's winning baseball at its best, and, and that's what Lou Pinella did best, was, was, was manage winning baseball. All right, now at this point in the program, we're going to pause to recall a few walk-off winners that were definitely memorable, but just fell outside of our top ten. Let's take a peek at some of the best of the rest. Tying the game up. Martinez hits one deep to left. to McLemore and it swung on and a high fly ball belted deep to center field. Mariners win. Unbelievable comeback here tonight. He's got 2-1 to Griffey. Swung on, great hit. Down the line, here comes Bill Bradley. And that is your game winner. Ken Griffey Jr. delivers. Here's the
the pitch to Mitch. Swing and a drive, deep to left field. Going, going. Goodbye, baseball. A walk off line drive. Two run home run for Mitch Hanniger to win it. When we come back, we will reveal the number one walk off moment in Mariners history. Stay with us as Mariners Top 10 is headed home right after the break. Welcome back to Mariners Top 10. We have made it to our top spot. But first, let's recap how we got here. Swing, line, drive, base hit, left field, made right at third. Here he comes. He's going to score. The Mariners are going to win it 8-7. to seven. Here comes the pitch to Tino. Swung on and Melvin deep to right field. And that will be flying away. And the Run on and Dalton, deep to right field. The unbelievable has happened. Fly, fly, fly away. And the one-two pitch on the way to Jimmy. Swung on, well hit ball, deep to left field. Benching out, goodbye baseball. Grand slam, home run, Jimmy Presley. Ball swung on and belted it deep to left center. Back on the ball is Bumpery to the warning track. The wall, it's gone, it's over. Tom Fischoy wins it with a home run. Three to two, my, oh my. Two one pitch to Fischoy. Fastball swung on and belted to left. Winfield looks up. The Mariners win it again. It will fly away. Oh my, I don't believe it. The pitch to Phil Bradley. The fastball belted deep to left field. Back is Hatcher. It is Brian Salami time. I don't believe it. My, oh my. The 2 2 pitch. Swung on and a high fly ball in deep to right. A chance to go. Fly away. It's over. My cabin is done it. Now Fernandez glove. There goes Joey. The pitch swung on and belted it. Deep to right field. The Mariners have done it! Fly away! No one pitch on the way to Carlos. There's a bunt up the first baseline. The Mariners are on their way to the American League Championship! A beautiful bunt by Carlos Guillen! The Mariners sweep the Chicago White Sox! My, oh my! I don't believe it! And now we are at number one. Was there ever any doubt? It happened in October 1995, and it was the line drive down the left field line that saved baseball in the Northwest. At number one, the double. That whole stretch was, was, was peaks and valleys of emotion. And you always knew something good was gonna happen. And it happened there in the bottom of the 11th inning. Joey Cora let off with a bunt base hit. The bunt base hit, and sort of, you know, you, you kind of find yourself picking yourself back up. A couple pitches later, Junior gets a base hit up the middle, and then here comes Edgar. Previous at bat, I struck out, and Norm uh, came to me and he says, um, just to stay positive, be ready, you're gonna come back uh, again, and you're gonna win the game for us. What it was like hitting in front of Edgar? Well, you always had to run, because he's gonna hit some doubles, and every now and then he's gonna hit one out the ballpark. Uh, he's gonna hit one down the right field line. I mean, is a, one of the best hitters in, in baseball history. What I remember, I took one strike, uh, fastball, and after that I said, okay, it's gonna throw the split. And the old one pitch on the way to Edgar Martinez. Swung on the line, down the left field line for a base hit. I could see his back still run to the ball as I'm rounding second. So I knew he has to still grab it and then turn around and throw it. I had already made my mind up when I hit second base that I'm not stopping. Here comes Joy! Here is Junior to third base! They're gonna wave him in! The throw to the plate will be late! The Mariners are going to play for the American League Championship! I don't believe it! And the fans, almost 60,000 fans in the kingdom, went absolutely berserk. The celebration was a bit of a quandary because you had a, a pile at home plate um, that filled up very quickly because Junior was there and then Gar was out at second base. So the first player that I met was uh, Joey, kind of halfway between second base and the mound, somewhere in there. After that, it was all celebration. To see that unfold, the way it did, the way the fans were so captivated, to see Edgar come through was absolutely amazing. One of the most fun I have had in the game. 
Never forget that. It just continues. My, oh, my. Edgar's double changed the landscape of baseball in the Pacific Northwest and is the signature moment of Edgar's Hall of Fame career. We hope you enjoyed this walk-off win edition of Mariners Top 10. We'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Angie Mentink. Thanks so much for watching.